not promised to everybody. Listen, okay, so we were established in the most high. Salvation has been established for everybody, whosoever. John, John, John. Oh, listen, what, you believe what Christ said. Listen what Christ said, read John 4, 22. John 4, 22. You mean you got Ye worship, ye know now what? We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. For everybody? The Jews. First and then. No, 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 no. And then. No, 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 no. So look. First and then. Then who? Are the Jews first and then the but who are the Gentiles that it's talking about? <laughs> who are the Gentiles? Who are you? What, are, what would you consider yourself? A follower of Jesus Christ. So are you a Jew or Gentile? I'm a child of God. No, you're either Jew or Gentile. So it ain't for you then, right? It say to the Jew or the Gentile. So you don't claim to be one of them that salvation is going to? Just an obedient follower of Christ. No, 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 no. You got to be either the Jew or the Gentile. No, I don't. So, so salvation ain't to you then, right? Salvation is always for me. Um, well, how's it if he said Jew and then you said to the Gentile? So he's going to be, salvation going to be, he just said, said listen to what he said. Salvation for this, this is St. Matthew 25 and 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. He's going to sit on his throne. His power rules in authority. Because he's going to rule first, read. And before him shall be gathered all nations. All nations going to be gathered before him. What is he going to do? He's going to keep everybody together? This is what he gonna do. When he first come back, this is the first thing he gonna do, listen. And he shall separate them one from another as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. There it is, he gonna separate all the nations. One from another, a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. What are he gonna do with the sheep? And he shall set, set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Who the goats? We already, he already said, but he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So that's the sheep that he's going to put on the right hand, the 12 tribes of Israel right there. Now, who are the goats? Let's read. The book of Daniel, chapter 8, verse 21. And the rough goat is the king of Grecia. Yeah. So he's going to put the, like you're talking about the Jew and the Gentile, he's going to put the Israelites on, a, on his right hand, and he's going to put the goats on the left hand. So now what he's going to do? For the sheep. Ready? Matt, Matthews 25 and 34. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Right. So he made the whole world for our sake, it tells you in the scriptures. But see, we ain't been taught that. But we know, because the scripture says it. Now, what are you going to do to those on the left side? The goats, the Greeks. You say you haven't been taught that, but it's no, we, we have been taught. We have been taught. That's what we come for, to bring forth the truth to our people in the street that's been taught religion. So who you think of? Yeah. I know. Really? So this is what he's going to do. Let's, let me, hold up. Let me, this verse 41. What he's going to do to the ones on the left? Remember, he's going to separate all the nations. He's going to put the Israelites over here, white people over there. East Indians right there, Africans right there, Ch Chinese, Japanese, Arabs over there. He's going to put everybody, going to separate all the nations, one from another, as a shepherd divided the sheep from the goat. Now, what are you going to do to those on the left side? Read. Right? Then shall he, verse, verse, verse 41, then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepare for the devil and his angels. There it is, man. That's it. You ask who was that? Who is this? You never seen that before? No. You ain't never seen a, a white picture of Jesus Christ in your life? Like Jesus Christ. I see Jesus in heaven. It don't look like that. Well, I know. This is his name is Caesar Borgia. Oh. Caesar Borgia, the second son of Pope Alexander VI of Rome. I don't know who that was. I'm huh? like, that ain't Jesus. Well, that's, I mean, that's not his name anyway. The J was invented in 1630 A.D. He spoke Hebrew. Why? Huh? Yahweh was shy. That's right. We call him Mashiach, the anointed Savior. So what do you, what, what are your people doing? What are you, what are your people doing? They call him devil worship. They call him devil worship. Y'all devil worship? Y'all? Oh, the goat. The goat head, huh? Oh, okay. She called it out. About what? Holy Spirit? Holy Spirit? Holy Spirit was given in Acts the second chapter. You know, get uh get uh John 14 and 26. Read. Really? 
That's the only reason why we can be here, to bring forth. It's a him. The, the book of Saint, so you believe in the laws of the Most High, following the laws of the Most High? Huh? So what laws do you follow that you, that you know about, that you follow? So no 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 you go into the you go into the law and the uh from Exodus to Deuteronomy those those it's 613 laws. I mean but you can do the best you can. That's an excuse though. That's an excuse. We always been said that nobody can keep the law. Why you can't do what's right? Huh? What do you mean we're not perfect? Yeah, but you. So you eat pork? You eat pork? What? That's, the, that's against the law. That's against the law. You eat shrimp? No, he didn't. He told you that's your own vain opinion. That ain't, he ain't tell you that. He ain't, no, you can't. No, you can't. Get, get uh, Isaiah 66. Let me show you. The judgment that's going to come down on those that eat the swine. Let me show you. Now, you can't eat anything you want. Listen, this is Isaiah 66 and 15. Listen. Isaiah 66. Isaiah, Isaiah 66, listen to what it's saying, listen to what it's saying. Y'all don't get out you about no pork. What? I can go to hell for eat pork, that means that means salvation and blood that is dead, it's no good. Okay, well, that's what you believe, believe that, read it. Isaiah 66 and 15, this is an edification for everybody else that eat pork, read. For behold, the Most High will come with fire, and with his chariots like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury, and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Most High plead with all flesh, and the slaying of the Lord shall be many. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the garden, garden, behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh, eating the hog, read, and the abomination, and the abomination, anything that's abomination in Leviticus 19 chapter, that's why you, do you believe in the following the laws of the Most High? Yeah. And the abomination, shrimp, crab, lobster, catfish, all these abominable things. Like they say, you eat, you are what you eat. You eat these pigs, they the ones that are supposed to clean up the earth. Nasty pig and shrimp and crab and oysters, all them things he do do. Me. And the, and the abomination and the mouth shall be consumed together. They gonna be consumed together. You see that? I said something about that hog, but they got attitude about that, boy. Come on now, you can't eat, you gotta, you gotta repent. Stop eating that hog. It's gonna kill you, that's why you end up with high blood pressure, no pressure, cholesterol problems, sick of cell, to pass it down to the children, cause you ain't eating right. You go to the doctor, you got all these ailments. Jesus talking about, talking about Jesus told her she could eat whatever she wanted to eat. No, I don't think so. This is him coming right here, telling you he coming back with destruction upon your butt. All of y'all that want to do this, it's, it's the truth. You got to change, man. You go to the doctor, doctor say, cut back on that pork, because you got high blood pressure. Uh, high blood pressure, no pressure, right? He tell you that. Me. Verse 17, they that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh and the abomination and the mouse shall be consumed together, saith the Most High. You hear what he said? So you're going to be consumed with this fire he's going to bring on this earth. Eating the hog, the pig, shrimp, crab, lobster, catfish. Oysters. All the things he do do. Yeah, he said you're going to be consumed together. That's what he said. Y'all got to change. You got to change your diet. He said, what? <laughs> Read. Uh, Leviticus 11 and 7. And the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cut, he is unclean to you. Of their flesh shall ye not eat, and their carcass shall ye not touch. You ain't supposed to touch a dead pig carcass. Here we are. Pig! You mean I can't eat pigs? You got an attitude about that, boy. <laughs> it has a hook. That's right.
but it don't chew the cud. But he said he's supposed to touch a dead pig carcass. Let's more to eat it. That's why I say, come on, we here to warn you. You gotta change, people. You gotta make that change. Give me uh, 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. See, this is a problem with our people. You wanna remain the same, you wanna come up with your own vain opinion. Where evil suspicion are over through your judgment, as we read earlier in Ecclesiastes 3.24. Read. Second Corinthians 5 and 17. Therefore, if any man be in Hamashiach, and it was she was talking about she's in Hamashiach. Real tough, right? Read. If any man be in Hamashiach, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. You gotta change. Old, let old things pass away and let things become new and following the laws, such commandments of the Most High, doing what's right, following Him and being obedient to Him instead of following your own way. It's going to lead you to hell. That's right. I mean, we're here to warn you. Simple as that. What you going to do when He come for you? And that's something, boy. <laughs> People suck bells, boy. All for the love of hog. <laughs> All for the love of hog. <laughs> she said, this is where they get it from. Get first Corinthians, I mean first Timothy's four and one. This is where they get this from. Read. First Timothy's four and one. <laughs> Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith. In the last days, man, some will depart from the faith. We tell them what's right. We read it. They still don't believe it. Read. Giving heed to seducing spirits. They're giving heed to seducing spirits. Now she said that somebody might hear it. Oh, see, I like what she said. And keep on eating their pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, whatever they're going to eat that's abominable. And not listen to what the Most High said. You better read Leviticus 11 chapter. Giving heed to seducing spirits. Like she come over here like she's gonna be seduced. You ain't seducing us. We here to drop the word. Point blank. Either you're right or you're what? Wrong. <laughs> Period. Read. And doctrines of devils. And doctrines of who? Of devils. Doctrines of devils. Deceitful evil people. Read. Speaking lies and hypocrisy. Having their conscience seared with a hot iron. You can't tell them nothing. You see how fast they get to chew? I'm out of here. <laughs> I can't eat pork? You tell me I can't eat pork? Read. Having their conscience seared with an hot iron, forbidding to marry, and commanding to abstain from meats. Go ahead. Which the Most High hath created to be received with thanksgiving. Of, yeah. With what? Thanksgiving. With thanksgiving. See, sustaining from meats, like the hog, which the Most High said, all you got to do is pray over it. Thank you, Most High, for giving us this hapik. Nah, nah. You're supposed to have the meats that are clean meats, not unclean meats. Not those that the Most High say are abominable that we shouldn't be eating. That's why you got bad health. That's why you got, you're walking around big and out of shape and all of that. Don't have no energy. Because you eat wrong. Doctor will tell you, when you go to the doctor, you better ask him what's the diet before you start taking all them drugs he's going to pump you, pump it to you. Ask him what's the diet. He'll tell you. Stop eating this. Stop eating that. You got high cholesterol. Cholesterol problems. Stop eating red meat, he'll tell you. You know, when he say cut back on it, you stop eating it. Stop eating this. They always looking out to make money. That's why them drugs, what they do with drugs, they make money off of that. You know, you're talking about selling uh, cocaine and heroin and weed and all that stuff. Shoot, you better understand the pharmaceutical industry. They're the big drug dealers. <laughs> big time. Yeah, witchcraft. Pharmacia, witchcraft. Right. So, I mean, here it is, and that's what they're dealing with. You take them drugs, you be spaced out of your mind. A lot of people taking drugs, man, they, ain't, they bugged out of their mind. Huh? What did it say? I, I can't understand you. Drugs? <laughs> you better leave them alone. I'll tell you that. I 
was just playing. I was just watching the field too, okay? Man. Read that again. Verse 3, forbidden to marry and commanding to abstain from meats, which the Most High hath created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. Yeah. Them that believe and know what? The truth. So the truth, what's the truth? Them that believe and know the truth. So it's not talking about everybody because most people call themselves, like I asked her, what's your nationality? Well, I told her, are you a Jew or Gentile? Because she brought it up. I'm a child of God. Well, either you, why you bring up Jew or Gentile? Plus, our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You know what I mean? Either you a Jew or you a Gentile. She said it, but she wouldn't, you know, admit that she was a Jew or a Gentile. Ain't no child of God. That's not a nation. That's not a nationality. Read. Psalms 119, 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. That's right. Thy law is the truth. The laws of the Most High is the truth. That's why you're going to eat the right meats according to the law of the Most High. Otherwise, you are sinning. You committing sin, which is the transgression of the Most High's laws. So when you have a meat, you got to know the dietary law to know that you can eat some chicken, some lamb, some oxtail, some uh, uh, beef, salmon, fish. You got to have fish with fins and scales. You got to be fins and scales. Can't eat no catfish, no shark. You got to peel that skin off of it. It got fins, but it don't have scales. And I'm going to tell you, tilapia, eat doo-doo. Tilapia is a bottom feeder. They made that fish in the lab. Oh, yeah. And you see it's very cheap. Because see, they know. Get that in uh, Ecclesiastes 29, 39, 39. Oh, okay. Yeah. You need to know that, that yeah, we're in the captivity for our wickedness. So they're going to keep you doing wrong. They're going to keep you doing abominable things. They program you to do that. And you don't even know it, but that's what you're doing. You're following the way of your enemy. He got you so you doing exactly what exactly what he wants you to do. Let's read. Ezekiel 39 and 23. And the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity. These other nations, they know that we as the 12 tribes of Israel went into captivity for breaking the law, statute, and commandments of the Most High. But see, y'all don't know that. Y'all just doing whatever you're doing. You follow right long suit of what they would have you to do. So the Most High would not come to you and, and bless you as he wants to. That's what we tell you, man. They know that we went into captivity, slavery, and bondage. The white man know this. We went into captivity, slavery, and bondage for breaking the Most High's laws. See? Because they trespassed against me. said, because we trespassed against the Most High. See? Therefore hid I my face from them. Say, therefore he hid his face from us. That's Ezekiel 39 and 23. Say the heathen know that we were in the captivity. These other nations don't live in the captivity, man. What do you think they're going to show us the right way? No way. They just try. <laughs> they ain't going to try to show us the right way. They'll talk about it. They'll talk about it, but they ain't going to be about it. They ain't going to be about it. For they don't know it. They don't know the right way. They don't know the right way. I'm all right, man. How y'all doing? What y'all believe in? Me? Yeah. I'm a I'm indigenous. Indigenous? Native, Native American? Yeah, oh, okay. That's right. We, huh? Where were they at? Oh, yeah, that's a long way. We're on Wilshire. That's a long ways, man. It was a lot of y'all? Yeah. Oh, yeah? I, okay, it was a white, white supremacy. Somebody had a sign called, I'll see somebody over there had a white, said a sign said white supremacy ain't, is, is BS. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay. Okay, they just came back. Oh yeah? So this was on behalf of the 